the accusation of someone being gay is enough to tear apart entire communities on the right. So, Nick Fuentes and his gaggle of degenerates, aka the Groypers, aka America First, uh, have apparently fractured. There's been a civil war. Drama has unfurled. There is, it is raining hellfire in the Groyper sphere right now, apparently, um, due to some drama involving a, a lackey that I suppose lives with Nick Fuentes, apparently having sex with a woman, which is against the rules, I guess, uh, and, and apparently Nick Fuentes does like, uh, like scans around their living space with a black light to check for cum. These have more or less been the, the small details that I have heard about this story. I don't know all of it yet. Um, apparently a lot has happened. There is a lot to learn. Uh, and, and I'm going to be learning it all with you guys. So apparently the best way to even learn about this story, according to the lovely people over on Twitter who sent me this link, is from... This clip, or this episode, I should say, it's an, an upload of an episode of a podcast or a live show called uh, The Kino Casino. I've, I've heard of The Kino Casino before, and I've, I've heard uh, good things about it from people that I uh, know. And I'm, just based off of what I've seen of the first couple minutes of it, because uh, uh, I did watch the first 11 minutes of it, because I, I know that like the only... They, they only start talking about the Nick Fuentes stuff in the fir after like 12 minutes. And uh, I have, I'm getting the impression I don't agree with the individuals who run this show on that many things politically. However, uh, uh, let's, uh, let's go ahead and take a look and uh, see what they have to say about our boy Nick Fuentes. Because apparently this is where all of it got exposed or talked about or whatever. And uh, yeah, let's give it a, give it a looky-loo. Is literally... A, oh, it's Andy Worski. Um, yeah, I forgot. Basically, like everything, like summer. For those of you guys that don't uh, remember, Andy Worski uh, used to have the nickname Andy Race Worski because he, um, like Andy Race War, ski race war, because um, <clears throat> he went full white nationalist uh, and, and full race realist back when that whole ideology took over. He used to be a pretty popular. Um, you know, just bargain bin anti SJW channel that ended up going full, uh, you know, white nationalist. I I'm surprised he's still around because he ended up uh, going on this degenerate road trip. I think with was it with only use me blade or something? Um, he went on this degenerate road trip where he would do. Uh, oh, no, no, it was with I think maybe with Baked Alaska. I know Baked Alaska joined some some degenerate road trip rv thing that i know only use me blade does a lot of weird internet shit that goes down around these parts but regardless uh he ended up getting in trouble for uh like walking around in miami doing text-to-speech donos on a phone live stream where of course everybody is just donating the most offensive stuff they can in order to get as many people they're walking past upset and then there was like the video where it's like the guy pulls a, like Andy Worski's friend pulls a gun on a guy and Worski's like stay back and his voice is like cracking and shit that was the last time I heard about Andy Worski I'm surprised he still has an, uh, an, an internet career at this point so yeah uh, so that is the the cavalcade we're dealing with here summarized all right this is AF summarized in the last in the last few months but if you close your eyes oh. feel like nothing oh, no. No. So by the way, folks, Nick, according to Jaden, this is something he told me last night. Jaden is obsessed, or sorry, Nick is obsessed with Stalin and believes that God told him he's the reincarnation of Joseph Stalin. So Nick actually put out those pictures himself where he photoshopped out Jake Lloyd, Jaden McNeil, and Patrick Casey because he thinks he's fucking Stalin. He's literally lost his mind, folks. He thinks God communicates with him and that he's part Stalin and part Kanye. And this is his actual belief. The conversation I had with Jaden. We'll get into all of are that. fucking nuts. He'll be here soon. Uh, we're just doing a little open, a little brief. We're just giving you guys a bit of a teaser, but we better hit this next clip because Nick Fuentes apparently thinks that he is the next. Wait, wow, this is extremely, supremely unfunny. Is that a, was that a joke? Used to be a Nick. Nick Fuentes didn't hunt for cum. Not anymore. He's always been a cum hunter, okay? Nick Fuentes has always been a top tier cum hunter. All right. If you think he, he's not, then you're. You're delusional, okay? Just downright delusional. This week, John Doyle had enough. For those of you who are unaware, John Doyle is a populist conservative commentator. He's affiliated somewhat loosely with APU. He kind of is like the bully pulpit for the American Populist Union. Close to 400,000 subs on YouTube. Long and short of it, 
John Doyle is the more optical uh, version of Nick Fuentes. He's literally Nick Fuentes if he had actually stuck to the optics and was able to move the Overton window in the normie verse. Okay, not to say that John Doyle, we worship him or whatever, but John Doyle put his foot down and belted the Groypers here. Massive blow. It should go without saying, this is a like white nationalist far right stream. Oh, to Nick Fuentes. Massive blow to America first, along with all the other defections this week. It's completely crumbling. Let's hear what John Doyle has to say about the state of the Groypers. This is shit. Yeah. Because these fucking people, dude. We're going to call him during a live stream. You want to know what that guy's voice sounded like? He sounded like this. He goes, hey, I think you're cool, but why didn't you speak at AFPAC? Why didn't you speak at AFPAC? I did an event in Phoenix. I had this group of guys come up to me to go. John just felt him, you know? Why did you speak at AFPAC? Speak at AFPAC. I did an event in Phoenix. I had this group of guys come up to me to go, hey, we're the Groiper Legion. Uh, We're the Groiper Legion. Hey, when are you going to stop counter six? Okay, I'm sorry. John Doyle doesn't get to make fun of Groipers and how they look like little scrawny nerds, okay? John... John Doyle looks like a groiper, okay? Like, there's a look. There's a groiper look. I could put together a a, uh, a groiper... What's the... um, What's it called? Starter kit. You know, like, the starter kit memes? I could make you a groiper starter kit right now with Photoshop if you gave me 15 minutes. And you would see that starter kit and be like, yep, yeah, no, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that that would make... Yeah, that, that'd be... That'd make a groiper. And, and let's just say... John Doyle ticks a lot of the boxes. A lot of the boxes. Signaling being an incel. These are the type of people, you know, whenever Nick takes little shots at me, he can't help but make me sound like a nerd because I have glasses or whatever, as if I don't have like two inches on him and like 40 pounds on him. Oh! people do. Like the average guy who watches my savage. videos is like a mid-20s guy. Man. John Doyle would beat the shit out of Nick Fuentes. <laughs> Can we get this boxing match? Can we get Doyle versus Fuentes? <laughs> that might be a bit too large pie in the sky shit. But John Doyle just firmly establishing he's taller, he's stronger, he's bigger, he's faster, he's better, he's smarter, he's sharper. Listen to this. He says, my average What's audience Nick are in their Fuentes 20s, look but like what are the Guy who works out will do like the average guy who watches my videos is like a mid-20s guy who works out and probably has a girlfriend the average groiper is like unironically a 15 year old autistic incel Whoa. that's just the reality of the situation <laughs> well that is true uh the the bit about the groipers is definitely true i don't know about uh okay oh fuck ah oh, i wish i could say what i know about john doyle i wish i could say the the secret memes that i know about john doyle let me just say Somebody very, very close, who used to be very close to John Doyle, a year or so ago, would have been over a year ago now, came to me and told me, they were able to prove they did in fact know John Doyle. Like, I looked at their account, like on where they messaged me, and like they were able to confirm that, that they knew John Doyle uh, and were very close to John Doyle. Close enough to tell me secret memes, nothing like criminal, nothing that would be like career ruining, just the kind of stuff that if it were public would just be embarrassing, you know, like it would make a lot of John Doyle's chest puffing here look, look, uh, a little bit funny. It's just, it, it, it's just funny shit. And I, I won't say it because the person in question asked me not to say it. And, uh, I don't want to like out the person who'd come forward to me because holy shit, like, why'd they come forward to me uh, is, is what I was wondering. And I mean, I want to be trusted with that kind of stuff. So got to be careful. Situation. And then they call me when I'm doing a live stream. Hey, hey, John, um, why didn't you speak in AFPAC? Hey, John, like, they're actually autistic. Like, we, we joke about having autism because it's funny, but, like, these people are, like, literally autists. And that's why they're so fixated on this whole, like, oh, we're going to, we're going to, like, take power and we're going to, like, take power. It's like, no, you, you think that these ideas are new because you're 15 years old and your entire concept of politics is, like, three years old. Not even, actually, probably less than two years old. He's you're just not old speaking enough to understand. the truth. Just the savage truth. The average groiper is a... I, I mean, I hate Nick Fuentes and groipers and everything, but, like, why are they soying so hard over the, uh, over the, this is, like... We've been saying this about Groypers for three fucking years. For as long as Groypers have been around, we've been saying this about them. They're all 15-year-old, uh, girlfriendless neckbeards. This is not like a new... T Why are they sewing over this? This is like nothing new. Oof, the slur. Oh, oh, you, you, you think that the neo-Nazi John Doyle... You think that a stream featuring the neo-Nazi John Doyle, white nationalist Andy Worski, and this guy, you think that's... You guys are surprised? There's going to be slurs? Oh. Oh, yeah, yeah, there's going to be slurs. I'm sorry, guys. That's that's the side of the internet we're on right now. 
15 year old autistic incel getting bullied in high school <laughs> and they have no conception of politics they think these ideas are brand new they're so revolutionary they're going to change the world no in fact they're very old <laughs> and we've run the playbook before and better men than nick fuentes have tried and failed with his talking points and approach john doyle just laying in with the it's amazing this is some good shit and like what happened in 2016 you're not old enough to understand what was happening in the 1990s um just because your political education is so young uh so yeah like you're retarded and autistic so <laughs> yeah we're counter signaling we are counter signaling <laughs> just outright we are counter signaling <laughs> We are counter signaling your incel bullshit. May God, may God judge a fucking guy John's hand against Fuentes' pap papal bullshit. Well, this is just the beginning, Fortnite. We're only at the beginning. We haven't gotten to the uh, to the exposure the exposure yet. This is just the this is just the beginning. All right, this is just the beginning. I will speed it up a little bit more because you know, obviously, we don't care about the commentary going on here, really. I'm giving you the Arsler pass. Listen, okay, I'll never be able to have the Arsler pass until I get my my certificate of autism or whatever it is. Until I get the 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 diagnosis and I can just tape it right here. I'll tape it right here. And every time someone gets mad at me for saying the Arsler, I'll tap the sign. That's what I'll do. You have ADHD, you have the pass. Yeah, but I didn't get, I got diagnosed with ADHD when I was a kid. I haven't gotten a adult diagnosis, so I don't know if that would, I don't know if, it, I got to get it renewed, you know? It's kind of like a driver's license. When it expires, you got to get it renewed or they won't let you buy alcohol or buy weed or whatever, or anything else that you need to be 21 for. It's kind of like that. Like, may God guide all of our hands tonight in striking down Nick Fuentes and his papal horseshit, his Roman popery. Okay, let's go, John. Let's go. Um, Nick likes you and a lot of people follow both of you. Yeah, it's true, there's overlap, but there's just a hierarchy where he thinks that he can like take shots at me and what I do, and like that's not gonna be reciprocated, uh, which is like retarded because I've been nothing but nice to him. I've like literally used resources of mine to help him, and then he'll do oh. reactions to my streams and like make fun of me. And it's just like do little impressions, you know, make me sound like nerdy. Like, dude, again, I have 40 pounds on you. Like, you're an incel. You counter signal working out, uh, and you're supposed to be the voice for like young men. Like, you're telling young men that like it's okay to be an incel and not get married, and you're claiming you're an wait, 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 The counter signal's working out. Yes, <laughs> we'll watch him do it later tonight on the show, yeah. where he says that. He doesn't work out because he's a manlet. So if he was to get muscles and be healthy, like he would just be overcompensating. And he would just be more of a loser. <laughs> Of, like saving the white oh. race when the only girl that you've ever expressed an interest in uh was a girl who talked about pegging her boyfriend and you fucked oh. Like, oh. sorry Jay Fuentes wanting to get pegged in the ass like oh. oh. let's face it folks Nick Fuentes does want to get pegged that is true John Doyle just put a fucking felt name on Nick this is the brutal bullet. felt name this is the bullet bro about pegging her boyfriend and you fucked this was like and hey and hey not my cup of tea not for me but that's fine it's the least the least of an issue that I have the the, the small not even the, the the not even a consideration of an issue from me with that with Nick Fuentes okay there are much higher priorities on the list of things that I take issue with Nick with than uh, well frankly I don't give a shit if he likes getting pegged but you know it, it, teach their own you know I'm I'm a I'm a man of freedom my friends if you want to put things in your butt you get to put things in your butt and I think you should be able to defend your right to do so with guns and weed it's my life. That's what I believe in, okay? I, I live for that freedom, okay? Butt stuff, guns, and weed, all right? Sorry, we're going off. We have to go off. You, know, you push me into a corner. You push me into a corner. And, Block these numbers, and then, please. and then, uh, uh, you have a photo in the drive. Yeah, yeah. So how does Nick respond to this? He bends the knee to John Doyle. Doyle and I are cool, by the way. We talked it out. I'm just him. He just me. No more brother wars. Notice how he never handles it this way with anybody he has more clout than. See, it's the same thing with Medicare. When Medicare had more clout than he did or he perceived it, he sucked up to him. You're an internet legend. You're a king. Now he has to bend the knee to John Doyle. Bend down and kiss John Doyle's fucking ring. And you'll kiss his ring, Nick, because you can't do shit. Because John Doyle has more clout than you, more influence than you, more viewers, more financial contributions. And you know that you need his blessing to do anything, Nick. You fucked up. And John stayed optical. And now you're his bitch. The Groypers are the bitches of John Doyle and the APU chads. And it's sad for them. It's very sad because they used to be king shit of the mountain. But there's your fearless leader. And then last night on the show, once again, he cocked out to Doyle. Kiss the ring. I called John for an hour and I apologized because I was in the wrong. There you oh. go. But you couldn't do that with your best friend Jaden. Why? Because you're a fucking narcissist. You feel you have more clout than Jaden, and you can bury him like a fucking cockroach. But I'll tell you, Jaden the cockroach is gonna come out fucking swinging tonight. Guys, this it me and Ashley. I I I'm gonna be completely honest with you guys. I can't imagine talking about another content creator dissing another content creator like this. Like, I, have I ever like gotten this excited about another content creator dissing another content creator? I don't think I've ever gotten this excited over that. Like, like, is there is there a clip of anything like that for me? Because it feels so parasocial. Going whoa! Last night while hearing we're not all the here. stories and preparing, we're not here to commentate on on Worski and 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 uh, the gentleman on the left. No, you are normal, Xander Hall. I don't want to be normal. This interview, it's Ashton. It's crazier than I thought it was. This is uh -huh. this, and then so by the way, Nick knows that Jaden had all these stories and ready to expose it all here tonight in a few minutes. So what does he do? Threatens legal matters. Yes, legal. And we, have the, we have the clip. It's oh, actually we? in the drive. Nick threatens Jaden with oh, legal right action. 
Ladies he said, and, and he's he's been messaging Jaden saying, "You signed an NDA. We looked at this NDA. It's not worth the paper it's written on. It's impossible <laughs> to enforce. It's way too general, way too vague. I don't know who we had draft this up. Probably an intern who was eighteen. You know, the kid who drafted this fucking legal document was probably underage. So it doesn't. It's not even worth fucking toilet paper. And, and, here he is on the show. He's like, I'm not going to talk about this because it's a legal matter. And by the way, if you have someone sign an NDA, but you start lying and talking uh, shit about them, uh, uh, yeah. going on Kino. Address that. that. That's a pending leak. Foolish. My orbs. Nick after seeing. Uh, that's obvious. Josh, the remover sent three dollars. Nick after seeing Jaden going on Kino Casino. Brave, but foolish. My old Jedi friend. Well, I'm not going to address that. that. That's a pending legal matter. Oh, it's a pending oh. legal matter. Oh, it's pending. Well, guess what? And then he refused to discuss it. Well, it's happening now, it's, brother. It's happening. It's happening, it's happening chat. Happening. This is going on. This is going to happen. We're going to bring him in in a few minutes here. In about 10 minutes here. Uh, here here's how we're going to do everything, everyone. For Super Chats, 20 and above will be read periodically during segments. I'll read some over here. The 20 and above. The rest of the Super Chats will be read at the end of the show. At the very end. Well, well, one more, Andy, and then we'll read Oh, yeah, sure. This is what cost uh, me so much, I got nails in my hands. Uh, the delusions of grandeur, like the narcissism, the blasphemy. Guys, you know, it, these stories that we're showing and the ones that you know are literally nothing compared to what you're about to hear. And we're going to bring Medicare in as well. Uh, Medicare, as you all know, he debated. Deba I mean, I, I say that very well, like, as loose as he thrashed. He thrashed. He thrashed. He thrashed. He just belted the fucker. Do you know what? Let's give him one more hot take because we have 10 minutes to the top of the hour. Yeah, this we have on it. Telegram. Okay. Nick I'll, I'm going to be honest. All I've seen of Medicare was his video on Wings of Redemption. He went on PKA. Um, and I watched that. And then he was in my chat once. He, I think he donated like five bucks. Like, I think he was in my chat like a long time ago. I think I was covering like Tim Pool or some shit like that. I remember he joined and he had like the check mark. He was legit. And I was like, oh shit, hey, what's up, buddy? I, I don't really know. I, I doubt that we agree on most things politically, but I know that you're like one of those pretty well-known YouTube figures. So enjoy your time here. And uh, I don't think he really said much. I think I yelled and he got upset that i was loud or some shit like that but uh yeah that was that's the most i know about medicare but apparently he does not like nick fuentes so uh there's that nick on madison cawthorn being based so for those of you who are unaware madison cawthorn is a gop congressman who recently got caught face fucking mm -hmm. another man and nick's take is that this is based on the best thing that he's ever done this is nick's new hot take to try and prove to all of us he's not gay he goes madison cawthorn is sus and that's based and if you disagree that's cringe what? madison cawthorn getting exposed by dc pedophiles for being sussy with his bros is the most based thing about him to be honest so he's already softening the blow with the Groypers for when Jaden exposes his sussy behavior. He's like, no, guys, being sussy and gay is actually based. Guys, Madison Cawthorn having gay sex, guys, that's how we win the culture. Remember, it used to be, how does anal sex help us win the culture war? How does it help us win the culture war? How does making your associates wear cat ears help us win the culture war? How does forcing Jaden to park on the side of the road help us win the culture war? There's some stuff Jaden's getting some crazy stories. How does, how does watching certain television shows? Oh, no, internalized homophobia. <laughs> All right, here's apparently where the good shit should start to get revealed we're gonna be skipping through this a lot don't worry i i'm pretty good at scanning through stuff like this to find the relevant parts that we want to talk about so don't you guys worry i'm good at this kind of thing sorry oh, this is a very uh, okay there we go what's up there we hey, go man. what's going hey, on Jaden? welcome all right yes it does oh, yeah welcome okay. everyone Welcome, Jaden. 07 in chat. Get, for Jaden Gang for life. How you doing? Yo, Jayden? five thousand viewers. If we were on Cozy, you'd have you'd be breaking ten. <laughs> uh, yeah, like twenty thirty. Yeah, literally. If we were on Cozy. Uh, they wouldn't ever let us surpass the Cafe Fiero, though, Jaden. Let's yeah, be real, dude. Yeah. They put the hard cap, the glass ceiling on. Oh fuck, brother. Are you feeling good tonight? I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. Feeling you great. Ready you know, to get got... sued, yeah, I was just about to say that. You know, I'm, I'm taking the real risk to, to be on here. I'm, I'm gonna lose hundred k according to Nick. So. Whoa, he's yeah, he's not happy. Uh, yeah, he's not, not at all. But yo, he's been taking shots at you, non Right? He keeps uh, missing the fact that he's been doing what six, seven streams about you. After yeah. So two Telegram posts, two Telegram posts of me resigning, totally. You know, cordial. I would say not not aggressive at all. And here we are. A week later, seven streams. I just realized the background that uh, Pee Pee here is using is actually a like uh, like a poster. It's actually on the wall. It's not a uh, green screen or artificial green screen. It's actually uh, a real like poster. It's pretty interesting. He's been on seven streams about me. So there, there you have it. <laughs> Oh, you look so free, Jaden. It looks like you know. Yeah, you know, here I am. I just moved into this new apartment, so I, I don't have really the best setup in the world. But we're we're getting we're getting there. You know, it's uh, it's good. I'm feeling good. I really am. It's is all the furniture here. New place, uh, normal people size. <laughs> yes, yeah, you know, yeah, it's I'm, not a common furniture. You can yeah. sit down comfortably like a human. I am I am normal size. Believe it or not, you know, I, I made surround myself. But that was just like a confidence boost thing. You know, uh, surround it's myself. It's like we're mogging these manlets. The lollipop tall. Mm, yeah, I so think so. What, what would you, are we saying like Roiper, big, like Roiper generals or yes, Roiper generals? Leadership, the cream of the crop. Yeah, probably probably like five seven. Okay, yo, how tall is Beardson for real? Uh, I don't know. I'm Come probably on. like, I don't know. I don't see the four nine. He's four nine, right? He's he wants to be, he wants to be, yeah, he wants to be nice. You gotta ask him about more yeah, stuff. I, 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 I the beard is looking like right now, bros. Are there tears in the <laughs> Oh, it looks like there's almost tears in his eyes, Jim. Like, it's the sauce is pouring out right now. And he's, like, he's like pulling on his cheek and his eyes are oh, dead, bros. Oh, like a thousand cap boy cocks there. Why? He's about to make a hundred grand off. Are you able to present this to everybody? Yeah, yeah, let me present it one second. Oh, let me open it over here. Uh, I haven't really used this system too much, but. Tiger Fountain's porn collection. This is gonna be great, guys. That's great, Captain. Yeah. Yeah. Is... There it is, folks. Like, look at him. Ah. He's pitching himself. What the fuck is that? Yeah. Hello, darkness, my old friends. I've come to talk with you again. Like, that's bad. Like, that look at his left eye. That's like, just that is despair. Oh, uh, Jaden, what have you done? This was your best friend for life, brother.
and likes to, you know, go after itself and tears itself apart. We make a lot of jokes about that. We meme about it very often. And and the reason why we do that is because we're on the left. We get to see it all the time. We're the ones who are constantly getting to see the lefty infighting when it happens. We're on Twitter in these spaces. We watch content creators that cover it. We like you're you're in the know on that kind of stuff. It happens on the right. And it happens in these graper Nazi communities constantly, almost as much, if not as much or more, as it does in lefty communities. They're just a lot better at, like, kind of covering it up and not making it a big deal. But here, this is getting a lot of attention, and it is going to make them both look pretty uh, dumb, I think, to anybody who isn't already bought into all the weird, like, right-wing nonsense. Here, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to jump to the part where they talk about the... Here's what we're going to hear about this, okay? We're going to be hearing how Jaden escaped America First, I guess, and why he's on the Kino Casino. Jaden on how he met Nick and joined American First. Jaden went all in. It's not about a girl, living arrangements and salary, job bell through, only paid for white boy summer, treasure of AF and why Jaden resigned. And it's not a cult, but you can't leave. Interesting. So that's what we're going to be listening to here. This is the... The testament of a ex graper, an ex America first lieutenant, so to say. You know, um, I'm I'm out, but hopefully we can still be cordial. You know, thanks for all you've done for me. Um, it goes all the way back. He's not only been talking about me for a week, but he's just been straight up lying. And hopefully we can get into that. That's really the whole point of me coming yeah. on here because I wasn't like planning to come on here initially. But as the week progressed, you know, he, he's threatening me. He's uh, doxing my biggest donor. He's threatening to dox other people through his little proxy of minions. He's uh, I, I can't really defend myself on anyone else's stream. You know, people are like, why don't you go on Beardson's? Well, I've seen the screenshots there. He's not really an ally. Wait, no you, one's... you speak your truth here, King. Well, I appreciate that. I appreciate that. <laughs> yeah, I'm, here to, I'm here to speak my truth. So. But yeah, I, did, I, I, yeah, I did want to ask one question, because the high question really does get to me. I know he doesn't want to specifically tell us how tall Beardson is, because that'll make him throw himself off a bridge. How many, like, how much money would you say you spent on Icy Hot to soothe your neck for looking down when you're around? <laughs> like, just a general dollar amount. Well, Tiger Ball, maybe? Yeah, yeah, I mean... You seem like a somewhat like chill, relaxed, like almost normal guy. Which is, you know, like, so how did you end up in the Catholic cult in the first place, Jane? Like explain, you know, your relationship to Nick and how you first started off and everything like that, just for people who might not know. Sure, yeah. So uh, for those of you who don't know, I was involved with like campus politics way back when I was a chapter president of my um turning point of Turning Point USA at Kansas State. Um I within six months had the largest chapter in the Midwest. Charlie Kirk was talking to me. I was getting invited to Mar Lago. I had a pretty cozy deal in uh, in Connie, basically lined up um, within six months to a year of, of just doing campus politics. And uh, at CPAC, met Nick, um, and that's CPAC 2019. Sorry for the timeline all over, but uh, CPAC 2019, met Nick. And uh, from there, I started watching a show. I got red pilled, and I was willing to throw away everything because I, you know, I thought that this it is a lot of the stuff, the truth, the, the right thing, you know, Christian, right wing, like that's those are things that I am. And I I was willing to throw away everything. Uh, it's very important to pay attention to that wording, by the way. A uh, very common trend in right wing and doc indoctrination and cult building essentially cult um, uh, uh, recruitment is to convince the person in question they're trying to sort of convert into this cult um, to cut as many ties with their normal life as possible the less ties they have um, that are not related to the cult they're trying to join the more likely they are to stay in it right so a huge part of this guy, I guess, having to cut down on his associations and his uh, and leave a lot of his life behind, a lot of the other prospects he had to join the Graper cult, if not mandatory for him to do so, was probably pushed on by the way that these types of uh, communities and groups like to isolate you from anything or anyone that isn't part of their of their cult. It's a pretty big, well known thing. Xander Hall tell tale does goo cult videos. Maybe we can get them to make a video on this. Uh, may maybe Telltale Atheist. Uh, that could be interesting. Wanted to push these policies um, and make a difference. And initially, I thought Nick was doing that in 2019. I thought he was doing that. I helped with the Groyper War. He even will admit that he admitted on the sweat that I was a pivotal role in that behind the scenes and pushing that and making that a thing. Um, and you know, I was willing to sacrifice everything for America First, for this movement. Um, and I was really there, as you guys know. Like, I was there for everything. I was yeah. the right-hand guy. Um, and that's why it's kind of... Um, upsetting not really but it's just like it's laughable it's really laughable that he's, he claims you know he's so he's so giving so generous he's done everything for me and it's like he's helped me but i've obviously done a lot for this guy as well and to say well we'll get into that but sure. it's, honestly it sounds like you know you went all in on this movement i mean you have a wikipedia page now saying you're a white nationalist you're on like yep. the splc watch list right. you sacrificed a lot for this movement including a really cushy gig with charlie kirk you'd probably be even more financially well off than you are now if you had went in that direction but you sacrificed all that for the movement so where did it start to go <laughs> i like how that's like a big deal for them uh people now know my political opinions that's a big sacrifice you know the world now knows what i believe yeah. 
the wrong, Jaden? Why have you ended up, you know, leaving there? What's what was the main impetus behind you? Leaving? Sure. So there's a. I don't... You have to understand for Nazis and their advocacy to convert more people to being Nazis, it requires them to have plausible deniability, right? Because people who don't know need to not know. They need to be in denial. They need to have no clue where they're headed, right? And uh, those that do know, they're the ones who are like, ah, oh, yeah, we're we're the red pill ones. We we get what's up. I don't know which you prefer to go into first, but there's obviously two branches to this, and, and it's like a lot of personal issues and like dealing with him as a character because he's a fucking tool bag, but also um just dealing with him in like a professional setting and seeing the kind of shit that he gets up to and that America First is doing. And I kind of got to the point where I just was like, I want nothing to do with this. And it's been months. It's been months. Is there any separation though between that? Because it seems like Not really. it's kind of sloppy. Like the personal yeah. business seems to be yeah. so intertwined. I mean, now. look at the last week. Look at the last right. week. This guy's been spurging out. And you know, I have all of his claims listed just because I wanted to hit all of them eventually. But uh, to say, first of all, if anyone thinks that this is about a girl, maybe he's convinced himself that, but that's like retarded. That's like fucking retarded. Everyone's like, why would you throw your life away, Jaden? You were doing so well for yourself with Super Chats and stuff. Why would you do that for pussy? And it's like, I, that's not the case at all, you fucking retard. And everyone has been watching me for years. These groupers have been watching me for years. To think that like that's my character, it's, it really just goes to show how deep Nick uh, has brainwashed these young men. And I was one of them, obviously. And what did um, what did Nick mean on Telegram when he said that uh, she texted me first? Is that yeah, what it's all about? I don't know. That's a good question. <laughs> I think he's taking, he's, he's trying to insinuate uh, that he has talked to her. Do you think it was like a preemptive damage control? You knew you were going to come on here to talk about some stuff that might be embarrassing, so he's trying to offload it and say, oh, it's, it's about check guys, don't pay attention. Well, 100%. But that's the thing that honestly confuses me is I, it doesn't really make any sense to me. And I, I tried to leave amicably. I, I let him know, you know, I don't want to turn this into a big thing. I put my statement out publicly for a multitude of reasons, which you know I can get into now or get into later. Um, but uh, I put the statement out just to just you know I'm breaking free. I wasn't gonna attack the guy. I was just gonna do my own thing, still stream on the side, try to do something professionally, um, figure out my life. But uh, he had and if he would have just been like, hey, you know, thanks, whatever. The first statement, that's fine. But that's not how Nick is. He has to always be on top. He's the dominant one. You all submit to me. I'm the I'm I'm Stalin. Is, it, my bit. is, and, is that your confession? You were the bottom. Jason, <laughs> that, that's, we'll were you the well. Well, see, I knew that would come up. Where, oh, did, believe it or not, we have to. The contention here is uh, that I was talking to women. I don't know if you guys have been uh, like and, this is insane. That's like, the thing. I just want to ask, like, what sort of Political movement is based around like you can't have pussy, you can't have a girlfriend. Like, well, not a right like this when you first join. Not a right wing Christian one. That's uh, once. So a big part of the America First movement is is the Volcel shit. Is the uh, you know they don't really like women very much, both as far as like you know them as people and being able to have rights. I mean, Nick Fuentes has gone on record saying that he, as far as like women's rights in America, thinks that we should model after uh, Taliban ruled Afghanistan. Um, he, he's, that's just what he, 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 he hates women. The Groypers hate women, the people in this side of the internet. It's not exactly a, uh, a brave or, or new or defiant take to say they hate women. Okay. And so a huge part of that also involves, uh, I guess not being allowed to have sex with them. I assume they believe it's, it, they're, they're acting like the Jedi order from star Wars. And it's like, oh yeah, no, we're focusing on, on, on pursuing higher knowledge and truth and, closeness to god rather than than sex but in reality they just come off as a bunch of uh nerds who can't get laid and are mad that that brown people exist which is what they are wants young men to have families well that's funny because everyone keeps saying jane got a girlfriend and this is what happened and it's like the, the truth of the matter is i have had a girlfriend or have talked to girls since i got involved in this i had a college girlfriend for years i was in this thing i was talking to people throughout like this is not a new thing so people i obviously I like to keep my personal shit off the internet believe it or not and i've been my hands kind of forced here sadly um but this isn't like a new phenomenon of me talking about it's always been a weird issue with nick for some reason um and is we've gone back and forth on the incel the, thing the only one that believes in that because i mean i know Pearson was married and Dalton, sure. uh, he's in a relationship uh big seems to date a lot of women you said you had a college girlfriend it seems like um you know all the great generals are getting the dicks wet and nick's the only one they're talking about monkey love so it seems kind of like a weird disconnect well it, it is odd i don't know if it's i think it's honestly because i was as close as i was like in proximity to him that it was such a big deal because i mean you guys already know that we were living he was living in his building whatever i was living in the basement apartment which i can like, explain you were on the bottom no, this, uh. <laughs> this whole the whole thing is fucked up because i he put out the whole apartment thing yesterday now we're off on a tangent but um I feel like I kind of I should I feel like I should explain that. We have a yeah, lot of time. Yeah, we have, all night. Yeah, yeah, sure, we have sure. So, Jake, do you want to explain how you came to live with Nick? Yeah, well, yeah, that, was, that's a good way. That, I think that's a good yes. way to start. So basically, um, I just put out the George Floyd tweet, whatever, stupid. Um, and I was getting a lot of pressure from school. COVID was going on, so I'm not at school. Um, and I was getting kicked out of school. And Nick's like, you know, you don't really you aren't really doing anything. You're streaming. Um, why don't you come out to Chicago? Um, I bought a building. You can live in the building. Kevin McInnes want the Proud Boys to be virgins and never masturbate so they can be more frustrated. Yes, yeah, sexual frustration is a huge source of where uh, a lot of these groups recruit their, their members, right? Like, you need to have a large demographic of sexually frustrated young men to pull from. And uh, you got to keep them sexually frustrated, right? Because a lot of these groups say what you want about them, but they will try to adopt the aesthetics of self-improvement in order to make their movements seem more appealing, right? The guys they're trying to pull into their movement are guys that just do not have their life together and are both physically, mentally, and emotionally in a really bad place. And they will try to use the, um, they'll very often try to use the 
physical improvement aspect of their rhetoric in order to appeal to this demographic and make them feel as though if they solve that problem, everything's well. So admittedly, a lot of these conservative guys in these um, in these like alt-right communities will be really into working out and fitness and stuff. And that's great. I love that. It's awesome. Cool. Love that for you. But they end up neglecting every other problem they have with themselves. And so even once they stop being filthy, disgusting, uh, unkempt uh, degenerates, which is something that, that you know, Amer as far as I can tell, the grapers encourage. They, they try to, they seem to try to encourage the clean cut sort of aesthetic and, and some level of working out from what I can tell. Um, you know, they have to stay sexually frustrated after that. So that's probably why Nick Fuentes is not a big fan of any of his cult followers having sex because you got to have that the more unbusted nuts just trapped in that ball sack the angrier and more the, the angrier you'll be the, the angrier the angrier you'll be and the more likely to hate women you'll also be so that's what he needs the basement uh it's a the basement apartment it's its own unit okay so we didn't see each other people were like oh you guys are interacting every day i haven't seen this guy but a handful of times for like six months um so he said you know you can live in the basement you can stream there not pay rent and you can produce my show through yes whatever super easy job and uh, I'll pay you on top of that. So you'll have a salary plus your streaming thing and you don't have to pay rent. Pretty good gig. Um, and I'm like, yeah, sure, of course. Like, well, I'm figuring out what I want to do professionally. I'm 20 years old, whatever that works for me. Um, so leave my family, leave the GF, leave uh, all the things I have going on in Kansas, whatever, and drive out to Chicago. Um, was this your first time away from home? Like, was this your first time out on your own doing your own um, thing? I mean, I was in college. I was in like dorms and stuff. But, but you were close was, to, were you Yeah, close I was, to I was in a few yeah. hours. Yeah, a couple of hours. So he um, separates you out in a new city, yeah. puts you in the basement, oh. tells you he's going to take care of you. <laughs> Correct. It sounds a bit like financially. It's a grooming. With a job, nothing sus. So yeah. what happened? Did he ever pay you, Jay? Yeah, so that's the thing is with all of that, I uh, every single month it was it was a thing because I was like, yo, when are you going to move in to your new apartment so we can build the studio? You're doing your show there. And then For I, those of you guys who somehow don't know, when they say sus, they mean gay. And produce it because he's still doing the show from his mom's house. Um, and he's like, next month, next month, for 10 months, all the way up until uh, like October the next year. Because I, I moved in November of 2020, October 2021 is when he finally moves in. He finally moves in, I believe, around that time. And um, give it or take a month. And that's when he told me basically that uh, actually it was a month afterwards that, yeah, actually, I don't need you to uh, produce the show for me. Um, I'm just going to do the green screen again, whatever. And uh, initially, when he pitched it, he was like talking about doing a co host thing, he was talking about doing a Tim Pool thing. Um, and that's whatever it is what it is like i'm not that salty that oh the job didn't happen but when he's sitting there like he lived rent free in my building and Jane, I, it sounds know. like he tricked you to being a house sitter until he could move to his fucking new place <laughs> i mean honestly much, he just, you're like on site security you like, security. Much. Yeah, security. Just to be clear Jane, he never paid you for anything that you did there he Ever. gave me one thousand dollars to film the 17 day road trip uh, but like, wait, so, so 17 right? days on correct. the road correct one thousand dollars correct less than hundred dollars a day what the fuck did he cover the hotels okay this you can just tell like how degenerate the type of shit that goes on behind the scenes of these like degen right wing communes or whatever you want to call them i mean commune doesn't even sound like the right word like you know there's going to be some degenerate horrible shit going on at something like that something weird okay i've been on youtube long enough to know that like streamer houses and and stuff like that it just never works out some drama happens some weird shit goes down it always falls apart in the end okay I, i've been around on the internet long enough to know about that so god knows what kind of weird shit goes down to cause these weird little Nazi commune community houses to fall apart. There's got to be much dirtier skeletons in the closet than your average, like, Minecraft Let's Player house has. Oh, uh, yeah, he, he, he covered the hotel. Okay. Did he cover I didn't, the meal? No, no, not the meal. Whoa! So, like, Just the hotel. He got a meal stipend. In the gas. Yeah. And that's all you were paid. That's, that's all you were paid. That's all I was paid the whole time, ever. Yeah. Isn't he a millionaire, Jaden? Uh, yes. Oh, and he can only pay his supposed best friend. Well, I mean, you'll hear his this right hand man in the movement a thousand dollars. You'll hear this over later. all those years. You'll hear it later. It's it's. I'm not like that. I wasn't really that worried. I wasn't necessarily doing it for the the money because I, I had the streaming thing going on, and that was you know what I was making my living off of. So this was just like helping the movement. I saw myself as being part of the movement, so I didn't really care that much about it, if I was making but, money doing that stuff. But I want to ask you: you were the treasurer of America yeah. First, right? right? So what did that entail, and were you not paid for that? Um, well, so initially when he pitched that to me, it was before I moved to Chicago, and he's like, I just need two basically docs people because it's all public records um, of people that can, people that can be on the board. Essentially, you're not gonna have to do anything. Uh, so me and Michelle were on the board. Michelle Malkin. And uh, he told me, you know, you don't have to do anything, whatever. When I moved out there, uh, because I wasn't doing anything with the show, it was always constantly like... All right. I don't care about the treasury work, all right? We're going to skip to the exciting part. This part is called about, uh... Sussy Squad, okay? Apparently, this is the 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 Sussy Squad story. Let's hear about the Sussy Squad. Are these people that are working for the organization, are they friends of Nick? And do they have access to the information? Like when you guys sign employment contracts or work for higher NDAs, is he like, hey, take a look at this and go fuck with them a little bit? Yep, that's exactly right. What the fuck? Does anybody have the artwork of the Sussy Squad on hand? Um, I can pull that up, actually. Can you yeah. pull that up of the artwork that Nick had commissioned of his Sussy Squad? Oh, wait, can I ask, is, is there a gentleman by the name of Big Tech in the Sussy Squad? He's, <laughs> no, no. He's, he's a dangerous motherfucker, so I just want to check. He's trying out for the Sussy Squad, but he hasn't made it yet, Jim. Maybe a few more bro jobs and we'll <laughs> It's just ironic because, you know, Nick, art. this whole thing since the beginning has been, don't join groups. This is a Fed honeypot. And, you know, that's been his whole MO. And then 
he's uh, at the same time threatening all these underage people, young men that are willing to put their lives on the line, their identity on the line for him. But if, if they do anything he doesn't like. What, uh, what is this artwork? I'm looking at? Uh, oh, this is the profile picture of uh, Black Swan. He uses the Katamari Damacy uh, character. Um, and then the other profile picture is from Nick's new right hand man, uh, Hiding. Um, I'm not going to say their names. I don't want to engage no, in that. Of stuff, of course, yeah. um, those are all my handles. Um, and Hiding uses that, uh, like the Bayer character that, you know, from 4chan is his profile pictures. I like how, okay, one thing that I do love is that the accusation of somebody in their. In, the accusation of someone being gay is enough to tear apart entire communities on the right. That is always going to be something that makes me so happy because there are always going to be homophobes that project, uh, or sorry, there are always going to be people who are gay that project, uh, uh, you know, homophobia. Uh, onto the world, you know, they, they try to overcompensate for whatever uh, moral failings they think that they are uh, uh, embodying due to being gay, and they're going to, um, you know, act in ways like we see the types from Nick Fuentes acting, you know, like we 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 Madison Cawthorn in the video that came out of him, like the, these virulent homophobes oftentimes have something that they're hiding. It's projection, right? It is always funny to me that there will always be the likelihood of one of these large conservative figures being outed as being gay and that causing an entire schism in the online right uh, or even just the suspicion that a that a large right wing figure is gay can cause a massive schism in this community that alone can cause the downfall of careers that is how pathetic the online right is it's very funny to me historically so it's an image of them making out in front of the gay flag and I don't know if it's reversed on the stream, but that's just on my camera here, but it says, uh, I hope whatever leaker doesn't spread this around. That would be so embarrassing if this was public. And you can see that from uh, Black Swan. He sent that to a number of different people. Um, Isn't there an oh. artwork of the, of the members of the Sussy Squad on their knees before Nick? Uh, yeah, that, wait, uh, I'm trying to interrupt. I think the link may have been shared. Well, that's the thing. I didn't let you allow it. So. Yeah, but yeah. it's going ping pong. So just to let people know, I apologize. If it gets out of hand, I'll make a new hangout, okay? Uh, I'm not hearing it. Do you guys hear anything? I'm not hearing it. I'm not hearing it. I'm not hearing it. I'll make a new meet. And if it's out of hand, I'll just send you all a new um, a link, all right? All right, anyway, cool. Cool. Oh, cool. Oh, yeah, one last question. With the Sussy Squad, how long has Nick been using them? Has that been something the whole time, or is it new? Recent, recent. Yeah, so, go ahead. Go ahead. No, okay, all right. So, basically, I said this on my stream initially when this stuff was kind of breaking out, but it wasn't, like, all public. Um, but I said at one point, you actually had to do something to be, like, a face fag in this movement. Like, you had to be, to be a streamer in the movement. Um, you know, Patrick was the AIM guy. Jake Lloyd was the InfoWars guy that got Nick involved. I interned for Elijah Schaefer and got Nick on the show, um, and I was a turning point guy. Um, but now, it's basically, like, if you suck off Nick hard enough, and you're a groiper, you're a Minecraft YouTuber in a duck suit, or VTuber in a duck costume, or a Fortnite player that doesn't show like, none of that matters. He's going to just ask her to prop you up um, as one of his new streamer guys in the movement. Um, and I think it kind of goes to show just how far That is true. That is true. Nick Fuentes' whole, like, uh, cozy TV thing is... Uh... Quite ironically enough, it's in the name. The desire from on his part is most likely to cozy up with as many uh, large figures, both political and apolitical as possible, to increase the amount of goodwill he has for him, right? Like all the drama YouTubers being totally cool with Nick Fuentes is a big part of that, right? Like, um, you know, Augie Bo Blacks. Uh, I don't know about Bo Blacks, but I know Augie and uh, I think uh, Nick Diorio, I think, uh, might be on cozy. Like that, that kind of stuff. That's what Nick Fuentes wants. And Destiny being on Cozy as well. It, it helps increase not only his name recognition, but helps to increase like the the outlook that people have on him, right? He is a Nazi. If anyone wants to debate me on whether or not Nick Fuentes is a Nazi, I'll bring him on. It's he's not exactly trying to hide it. When you make his public image look better, you're just helping a Nazi make his career better and spread his propaganda. Keemstar is also friends with Augie. Yeah, I mean, like I the problem is is that a lot of people who are like non-political content creators don't give a shit about the effect like morally that they have on the world like they're just there on the platform to have fun and do what they want um so they don't really care that somebody they associate with is a nazi and they could that person's going to get more of an audience and be able to spread their ideology to more people if they're friendly with them. That's just not a concern that a lot of people have. And you can't really convince somebody to be concerned about that. So that's just like the, the biggest, the biggest uh, 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 roadblock the left has always had in its advocacy is that the left has to convince people to care. And convincing people to care is very, very hard in a world that's far more comfortable and enjoyable to not give a shit about, right? Closing off your, your mind to the troubles in this world and all the problems there are and just living a complete griller normie life is very, very appealing. And that griller normie life it services, maybe not directly, but in some way services the right far more than it will ever be able to service the left far we following we went from like patrick and jake and other like respectable people scott greer to like 
Veda and UX Groiper and people that don't even know who these people are. Like, it's obviously this thing is a joke. It's not a political movement. And that's why everyone, like, that's another reason I wanted to come on here because everyone wants to be like, well, Jaden only streams. Okay, let's, let's find the cum part. Here it is. I think this is the last part we're going to watch. This bit right here, the black light check. This was what everybody on Twitter was talking about. The reason why we're here today, the black light check. Let's hear about it. I'm the best friend in the whole wide world. Oh, Jane, I love you, you gotta get this in. This was the funniest thing. So when you left, right? When he kicked you out because you left the door unlocked or whatever. Right. He's, you left the couch. And yeah, I left the couch. I left, I left my couch in my bed because uh, I had to move by myself. And he was like, you know, be out by May 1st. Fair enough. I waited and I was waiting to move initially because like we were supposed to all move to Florida. But then he got mad at me after November. And he's like, you need to get out or pay me. And it's like, okay, well, I've been here because I was supposed to have a job. And then I was waiting because we were supposed to go to Florida. And he had like, family issues and things so i was trying to stick around and be like a good friend i wasn't just gonna be like fuck chicago i hate it here i'm out um but he's like you need to start paying me whatever i'm like okay fair enough um may 1st i'll be out i wanted to get out as soon as possible anyways to get the fuck away from him but uh i left my couch i left my bed um just because i can't haul that in my car um and it's like an eight hour drive so um and i didn't want to run you all but he's telling his all of his buddies that he's uh he got a black light because he wanted to go see if there was any cum on my couch ah! he was, he's like that was some sort of no, 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 no. Yes! okay well, hold on he's coming yeah, 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 that's real yeah. well i don't know about that he was like this prancing around like a cat he's got a black light do you think hey do you think like he cut out the patches where there was some and he, like, sniffs it. It's like a oh, second. Oh, that's oh, that's so weird. I don't know. It's the truth. It's the truth. Bro. Oh, it's the truth. Oh, was, there was there a couple of couches, Jaden? You can tell us. No, I don't think so. He's playing my left all this trash behind, but I have the video. Jaden, are you going to tell the underwear story, Jaden? Oh, fuck. Is there more? Please tell that story. There's no story. You're telling me. What a lovely group of people. What a lovely group of people. I feel like I've said all I need to say about all of that. If you enjoyed this video, please consider leaving a like, subscribe, ring the bell icon if you haven't already and you want to see more content from me. Maybe even consider dropping a sub if you want to see more, ring the bell icon, follow my social media. You can donate, subscribe, gift a sub on my website. You can also support me on YouTube, Twitch, Streamlabs, Stream Elements, and Patreon. But with all that said, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it and have a good one.